All right, oh. everyone, welcome to Don't HOKW no Presents yeah. Troubleshooter. Well, we're sorry. gonna explain your fault because you're an awful booker, you're an awful talker. Just fire the man. I'm sorry. Things are really, really going bad here. I realized how many changes I need to make, and actually this makes me, I need to go to the bar. I'll be back shortly. I thought we had a lot of changes for tonight's card. I mean, look, we, we got the fireworks. Thanks for funding that. I appreciate yeah, it. How, They're a little how, hot. How, how, do your, how do your ears feel, guys? They're a little hot. He didn't give us a fan yet. He gave us heated seats. He gave me heated seats. He gave me like one of those weird snuggies too. I don't know why. But... So, it's an right. HOPW endorsement. I just want to know yeah. why are there two different like announced teams? There's like announced team Wolfpack and, and team announced team Black and White. Announced team Chris and I. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys are shit commentators too. Our first match here tonight is going to be for the internet championship. Of course, it was partitioned. It petitioned, I should say. I don't know if I said partitioned. Petitioned <laughs> by good old Chris Mullins, senior over there, who's hitting up the bar. I see him over there. He was hitting up the bar, petitioning for Dash Wilder to get his internet championship match after defeating Oni Lorcan. Uh, however, after an amazing match where he just completely obliterated Sokolov. Uh, Sir Skeptic the Brave has been added to make it a triple threat match for our opening bout here tonight. Dash Wilder got screwed out of his title match and he earned. Yeah, he, he's in the title match though. Yeah, but he has screwed up his one-on-one -on -one opportunity he rightfully I mean, could. It wouldn't be wrestling unless everyone got an opportunity. Or a one -on -one. That's he just true. Had a title match. He's lucky that VTech didn't put him in did I ask Elimination you, input, you loser? It's all about That's why right. you're down there and I'm up here. Of Get course, to talking the about the match, the not about the competitors. Of course, you can the follow all of the commentators of HOPW on Twitter. We got the governor, Chris Mullins Sr. You got Mr. I don't even know. What's your name? Oliva something? Zach Oliva? Uh, and that, and got, that's my name. Don't worry about JT Mullins. And of course, Thank your you. boy, Dominic, over here. Your boy, your boy that can't talk for shit. Your boy, I'm sorry. Who can't press the record button at the right time? I'm sorry. Kayfabe. Kayfabe, keep the kayfabe. I'm not recording, it's the cameraman. The cameraman's recording. I don't record, I'm an announcer. What are you talking about? I just hit the button when we go live. That's the difference. I don't do that. Well, recording. You didn't do that right either. Back. It's okay. Sir Skeptic the Brave. He is the, the first man here tonight. This match. So what I want to know is who's underneath the it helmet. He didn't earn this match. Are you sure? Are you sure he did demolish? You see, so I got I got a feeling about this one. I think I know who's underneath that mask. He got a weird composure all about him. There's something very weird about him. Who do you think him. it is? Who do I think it is? Well, you gotta find out on Twitter. I'll, I'll tweet it. I'll say two simple words, and then you people, you'll be like flipping out. I've had absolutely enough of all the masks here in HOPW. I don't blame you either. We don't know what kind of race this, this mistake is. This goes totally against my all-American all-the-time concept. Speaking of all-American, Dash Wilder. No Your face, name is the kind of guy you need running the internet division. The internet division. <laughs> what type of division He's is that? He's running the internet. Period. The the World Wide Web. Yes. He is the yeah. hero He's of the reason. Twitch, you will Twitter, YouTube. You will continue to ruin the internet by having a guy like Oni Lorcan as your internet champion. I mean, Dean Chard passed it to Oni Lorcan, so he blessed him. Well, Oni Lorcan, we found them because Dean Chard Dean gave Chard him the belt. Dean Chard has about as much authority as a box of packing peanuts. Oh. He does not get the hand titles to people. No. Speaking of handing titles to people, enough with this nepotism of this Bolt Brothers tag team. Oh, shoot. Calling them out, too. You, you're making a lot of enemies, by the way, Mr. Chris Mullen Sr. A lot of enemies or a lot of victims? That's true. That's the question there. Are you 
victim after victim. I'm telling you, you I did have declare my war. Child. You did declare war last week. So I declare war on all masked individuals. We are mm. taking every mask off. You will see a new brand of pathetic, scared individuals because they won't have their masks to hide behind. Pathetic people. Pathetic. They'll be whimpering. But only Lorcan doesn't wear a mask, though, so I mean, he has nothing to hide pretty well. I still don't understand why though. that masked guy get, get, gets this title shot. Because he demolished Sokola. He, he, yeah, he deserves he it. He beat an international he, he person. Demol he, yeah, he demolished he's, like, he's an international person himself. So we don't out. award being international here. But it is the internet, too. Well, you know what? Maybe it's time to shut down the internet in other countries. Oh, shoot. It's time to shut down the internet, period. That's the Dash, title. Do you think Dash Water would do that? It's time to Don't take the world to the age of the dark web. It's time to unleash hell upon everybody. Oh. Like I said, we're coming. Already Dash Water know. becoming a target here. Sir Skeptic the Black. Oh, Odie Lord can take in control here tonight already. Showing why he Steal is the champion. Steal two words from a fellow billionaire. H-O-P-W. Two words for you. Under siege. Oh shoot. Oh. Under siege. From Who's sieging HOPW? We are taking it over. Who's we? You Mullins Incorporated. You won't know it until it hits. Dash Wilder taking control now. Irish the winning. helmet going against everything, and you will eventually oh. learn that. Skip the brave, make the comeback. Oni's just taunting in the corner, buying his own time. Oh! Stepping into it. Of course, he's trying to take credit for the dirty work of Dash Wilder. Pathetic. There's only two men left in the ring, and one of them isn't Dash Wilder. How do you feel about that one? Yeah, one of them is this masked guy who, by the way, a helmet is not a mask. The mask is made of metal. I'm still petitioning that he should not be allowed to wear that in this ring as a safety precaution. But even as your own member, Zach Zero, said, the ref didn't make him take it off, therefore it is legal. Well, then you know what? Then maybe I need to start looking into the officials. Maybe I need to start firing some yeah, I think I think the official's making the wrong call. Are you going to fire a referee? He, it's red, he has red shoes. It's not oh, red shoes. Yeah, exactly. It's a little you red know what shoes. that means? Asian. It's red shoes, Junior. You know what that means? Asian. You know what that means? Non-American. Shoot, you're such a nationalist there, Mr. Chris Mullen Sr. It's the only way to be, brother. But what about oh, Canadian? Did, I did no. they know that before Canadian? you vote? That's basically America light. What about Iceland? <laughs> but I have a question for you. Iceland's, you are the Iceland's governor. An okay place. Since you are Iceland's the governor okay of North place. Carolina. If I were to run Iceland, I would hand it to one person and one person only. And that is my buddy, Oliver Baumquest. How many oh. foreigners live in North Carolina that pay your taxes? They give you this well, money. They deserve to pay double taxes for being foreign. Exactly. But they're still in your state. Yeah, yeah. not by choice. You know it's too, start too many to get rid of too fast. One by one. You, had, you, you guys had yourself a little... Rumble Royal, where we had that trailer park trash wow. win name and win the title somehow. You guys already screwed up on day one on that one. But you know what? We can have a Royal Rumble of our own and start us now all non American people. But Quinn Damon the is. The entire Park Hill State. But Quinn Damon was a North Carolina native. But he was scum of the earth. He was oh. a trailer You're gonna park say that? You're building. gonna say that about someone from North Carolina? He didn't deserve to be from North Carolina. He didn't deserve it. Just because he leads North Carolina doesn't mean North Carolina North is Carolina good. is God's country. And sometimes God makes mistakes. That's why GAT has a job here. At least I can do my job correctly. Is that why I'm up here and you're down here? Yes, yeah, stick to it. Oh, I just had bad eyesight. Here, you're up here. What? 
I just had bad eyesight. I can't be up there. You know, peripheral vision. No, you're not invited. None of you are invited. Hey, we don't need eyesight for up here. We have monitors. We have everything. We have the highest of technology up Is that... here. We have the best view in the a venue. Lion Tamer. Sir Ske wait. Oh. wait, 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 wait. That moved wild. before. I've seen that move before. It's used by a De Leon boy. Sir Skeptic the Brave. Is he... Not that guy. Never mind. He's... Wait, British? Hey, Lion Tamer. Guy. Enough. De Leon. Right now, is he's that... who I think it is. is. If it's not... who I think it is, if it's who I think it is, I'm first. going to strike again. Is that Jacob De Leon? Don't even, Don't even say his name. Of course, he is the son of Chris Delia. Don't the, even the talk golden about that. Don't even talk about that guy either. New topic. What could that mean? What could that mean if a Delion family member gets the internet championship and Dash Water doesn't? Would that be family warfare between the two? That will be absolute family warfare. But how many then, wars can you handle the day, once? The elder Delion will only have one question to look up at his son as he failed. Does it pain you to see me this way? Oh. That's wilder there, only with a one count on Oni Lorcan. This is our opening match here tonight. And they will pain everyone to see him the way we will leave him. If those Close Delion on. try to show up and interrupt my proceedings. Sir Skeptic the Brave back in the ring. Going straight after when he working. I'm skeptic, I'm so skeptic, damn it. Oh, took out. That's water there for a second. All these, all these men are getting caught up in this ring. Oh, trying to Snap break that arm. arm. Snap his arm, Dash. Oni. Oh. Bomb. Oni. Oni. Bomb. Oni. Another one? Oh. Three Oni bombs. Oni bombs. Close line. Is taken out. Sir Skeptic the very good for a pin on the champ. What? One, two, just a two he count. Why he is... shouldn't even be in this match. I don't even know why he's still in this match. Yeah, well, this is just on more the handing out titles to anybody and everybody who got ready for this crowd. match. Dash Wilder worked for this match. He beat Oni Lorcan last week. And I just throwing in another man that didn't earn this. What kind so of crap? Dash do with that, bro? Rumble. Yeah. Oh, so Dash oh, a code breaker on him. Perkins. Put him away, Dash. Put him away. Is, Look at that he's blood. He's bleeding. He is just bleeding. Oh, we're gonna have a, better have a new internet champion. Oh, boy, that might be it right there. What? One. One. Two. Sir so Skeptic the Brave gonna break it off. Three, and all three, the new internet champion. And it is my whole Dash Wilder. Oh man, I guess you can say yeah to that one, right? You guys and got I your wishes. I can't wait to see Dash and Chris take over HOPW's more than they already have. That's what happens when you go hard all day and all night. So two members, two they championships so down. Proud, so in a fight. North Carolina native. I know who he's voting for in the upcoming weeks. North Carolina yeah. now owns H O P W. Not yet. You still got the tag team titles. You still got the go. tag team. The tag team titles mean nothing as long as Dash and Chris are on the top of the mountain. Are you gonna say our tag team division means nothing? It has exactly. Boy is gonna play second fiddle until K Mo and Zink gets themselves with that gold around their waist. Next up. We got but Zach Zero and the tag team champions, the Bolt Brothers, take on Leon Morris and Nate Faber and Quinn Damon. Speaking of a tag team champion. Of course, Leon Morris and making a statement, calling out Zach Zero at the opening of last week's show. Faber making a statement saying that he will not be undermined for everything that he has done for a company, Bolt Brothers. More masks, what do you know? Of course, the Bolt Brothers had a great showing last week against the Lost Villagers and Quinn Damon, the first ever prestigious world champion here in the It hurts me to say that. Yeah, exactly. What, did he finally decide? Did, did the bingo end for the week? He lost all his money playing bingo. The I, bingo guess, I, guess that's why he's I guess that's why he's back here, I guess. I don't know. Bingo and 34. Maybe he wanted to go to like a bigger bingo. For one. Who do you think is going to take the upper hand in this match, though? 
not a Quinn Dame, and that's a fact. I don't know, Zero has can they both, help can they the all lose? champions. Can they all lose? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not seeing Dash Wilder or Chris Mullins in this match, so I'm not very excited. Who about knows? That. There could be secret of members of K Mullins Inc. in here, hiding. Or future what kind members. Of joke are you exactly. To Waiting to pounce. Or That's future the thing. members. That's what we do. We pounce in numbers. We pounce when it's time to go. Wouldn't it be easier to get the Bolt Brothers on your side than to just go against them and try to risk getting those tag team belts off of them? Their grandfather has wasted way too much of my money and my and time. time. And time. There is news that Ricewag stole some of the money that was supposed to go to the arena. Yes, that with that it. stupid glow that they decided to give this guy. They dipped this guy in a batch of glow so he could feel the glow. But there is rumors that he stole some of that money. What about the If pickle? you can't call him he. You're the last person I trust for rumors, JT. Twitter doesn't lie, Zach. Oh, he's reading those online rumors again, isn't he? What are Whose you? side Best are you on? Sir? It's that Chick Meltzer. He's, he's, he's reading more shit from that Chick Meltzer. Chick Meltzer? You can't trust that, her. That Chick. That Skylark? That Meltzer Chick. That Meltzer Chick. You know the girl? With the big yeah. chin. Yeah. It's okay. The only only thing Chick Meltzer is marking out about, or soon to be marking out about, is our main event tonight. Why? Is there an Asian there? Yep. Oh, what do you know? Here we go. Big three on three action. It's a tornado tag team match here tonight. Starting off. Like I said, big changes coming in the coming weeks. We got to get rid of a lot of stuff here. Here comes Zach and hey, Zero. We might even get rid of that color green. I'm, I I, I kind of think a different color could suit HOPW better. What are you feeling? I, I don't know. In the coming weeks, maybe I will take a cool creative control over the colors of the HOPW arena, and we will get rid of the world of that nasty booger green. There's only so many colors in the world, though. Exactly. But booger green is not something we want to associate with. Doesn't your son wear, like, poo brown? No, he wears bronze. Bronze? Are you saying he's a bronze player? Yeah, you saying he's a bronze player, not even silver or gold no, standard. No, I'm saying that that is the color of the family creed. Mm. When, since you do own so much money, wouldn't you be like gold or platinum, not bronze? At the end of the day, bronze is always the best. Well, it doesn't matter gold. Not bronze. It doesn't matter what color you gold really truly family. wear. Zach Zero, the son of E-Tech. AK it doesn't matter what color something you wear, it matters Z-tech. how you perform in such color. Got the little visor going for him. You can sprinkle cheese on a piece of shit, and at the end of the day, it's still a piece of shit. Why'd you sprinkle cheese on shit? Where did you get a piece of shit to sprinkle cheese on? I don't know. It's what, uh, I saw, uh, the guy in the back, um, what was his name? JT? Shit, uh, no, Nate Faber. Nate Faber was eating this thing. He had a piece of shit and he sprinkled the cheese on it. Blue cheese? No. Sprinkle cheese. Sprinkle cheese. Oh, okay. Next up, the Bolt Brothers. You must really not like these guys for all the green they're wearing. Course, yeah, exactly. These jackets. guys will have to have new, whole new attires. And I read green from the entire roster. What about the blue hair, though? You a fan of the blue hair? I, the blue hair, he needs to be more professional about it. But it's at least not green. He needs to have more of a royal color, like purple. Just full on purple hair. Purple. Purple is the color of royalty. He's got a purple glove, does that count? It sort of counts, but unfortunately, clothes only counts at horseshoes and hand grenades. And personally, I want to throw a hand grenade and blow both these bastards up. Oh, shoot. Because unfortunately, these two are guys that don't exude the greatness that is K. Mullins Incorporated. They do exude charisma, as you can see here tonight. All the fans big, really into this. They're really cheering on these two. They have the charisma of a popcorn fart. 
absolutely nothing. There's one of our teams here tonight already prepared. Next up, leading the second team, Leon Morrison. Absolutely what nothing I can say about this guy. This guy tried to do this guy just needs to stay in his lane on Twitter. He was trying to speak out against my great associate Zach. And I don't appreciate it. If he continues to do such concepts, all that will do is cause plenty of issue for him. Great tragedy, great misery. But how do you know he was talking about the commentator? There's several Zacks in this company. Yeah, I think we Zach you the know cameraman. What? He was tweeting at him. Zach the social media manager man. Zach the food truck man. Enough of you and your food trucks. You guys are lucky I even let you guys eat. What's up, Quinn Demon? Oh god. Former HBW oh, the prestigious world champion. Former. This is only said, one thing forward. I will agree with K Mullen Zinc, and that is We Dave just need believe. enough of this guy. That is the one tail. standard. That is the one standard I will go with K Mullen Zinc. I never exactly. think I never thought I'd say it, but I how agree is this guy on even one standpoint. Employed in such a company, how is how how are you literally taking my money to fund the salary for a man like Quinn Damon? Bit of a hillbilly, it looks like. That long this is an open mic night at a comedy club. Get rid of this guy. What type of goggles is he wearing, anyways? Yeah, he's not going swimming. You're in a match. <laughs> well, he is a bingo shark. Yeah, exactly. He should stick to playing bingo. Stick to bingo. Stick I don't even think he's good at bingo. Stick to something Last that's off. in your level of greatness. HOPW's Forgotten Cowboy, Nate Favor. Again, another thing I want to implement, we might have to start getting rid of these scraggly beards. We need to be more presentable. The enough of this. Bruiser. Enough of this, hey, I'm just a good old hound, cowboy. No, we don't want that. We need clean cut people here. We need people that can we can be proud of. We need people that the people can be proud of. We need people that the people want to look up to. What about who the wants history to look up to a guy Favor? who looks like he lives under a bridge? But what about all the history of Nate Favor in this company though? That's something he has to be proud of though, right? Again, I mean... if we don't change history, if we don't learn from it, we're doomed to repeat it. And are we really wanting to repeat a time when that guy was the guy? No. Here we go, three out of three. Let's get this. Let's get about this show to break the out here tonight. Faber already going for the advantage. Faber going around, going to Zach Zero. Morrison already taken out. Damon already taken out. And Zero They're down, down to too. Zero. All these men going after someone else here tonight. Billy Bolt dragging the arm of Leon Morrison. Being on the other side, his brother, Case Bolt, taking down Quinn Damon to the middle of the rope, standing on top of him here tonight. I can look on and see favor. Just taking it to the Lifting team of up, Leon zero. Damon. Oh, missed the other jump by Case there. Reverse by Leon. The back body jump by Leon. Zero. The only okay, person I can up. even agree with in here is Mr. Zero. Oh, how so? Because he's a guy who exudes the greatness. He's a guy who understands his role. I feel bad for the guy. Like I said, I feel bad for Mr. Zack Zero. But what is the greatness? Please tell me. The greatness is just Next knowing week. you are better than every, anyone and everyone around you. It is the feeling you get when you just know, okay. Nate Faber is left alone in the this. ring. So it's like a golden shower? No, it's nothing like a golden shower because you see the people that go compete in such contests like golden showers. Look at the teamwork by Billy Bolt and Zack Zero. No, it's almost the like they're related. You don't want to be like. Go 
cutter. Golden Ooh. showers is false praise based on Go false after Zach Zero. The man he did call out last week. With the DDT in the center of the ring. Down goes Morrison. Just taunting Morrison there, Zero is. Favorite lifts up. Zero for the choke slam. This is it though. So with that arm drag. Going back after Billy Bolt is Morrison. Oh, but a roll, roll up. up. One, One, two. two. Oh. oh, he swings it over. One. Swings it over. They keep Another on swing. swinging it back and One. forth. Two. Another swing over. Oh. Two. Finally broken Finally up there. Out. See, this is the thing I don't agree with. Got the official needs to maintain control in this match. There's absolutely no control here. Another pinfall. This is just on. chaos. It is, is called a, a tornado mess. tag team match, though. Yeah, this is just a jumbled mess. You need to Faber, get keep control. Trying to here, help though. his teammate here. They backflips out of it. What a move by oh. Zero. And again, tornadoes. I watched a bunch of tornadoes take out a bunch of states. Over Three the count already. Once. Zero just eliminated Faber. It seemed like Faber couldn't kick out at all. Exactly. What was that? What did I tell you guys? Absolutely pure greatness. It was a tornado. Just pure chaos happened in this match. See, I think Leon had more trust in his teammate Nate Faber that he could kick out. But Nate showed him that he shouldn't have put his trust into him. Exactly. You See, look, Leon could have broken up the pin. Like he could have trusted Faber to be able to kick out after just not being damaged at all throughout that match. The team of Zach Zero Case Bolt, Billy Bolt. Again, They're Zach Zero again, carrying people. Zero, of course, did get the pin, so you could make that argument. But of course, these guys didn't help out. An assist in that match. Until they realize that they're just here based on nepotism and false title ships. What does this mean for the Zack Zero Leon Morrison rivalry? Who knows? Next up, Adam Rush taking on Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick, of course, calling out Adam Rush's tag team partner, Rye Swag. Makes us wonder how this next. Match will conclude when the pickle goes against this guy's back. The Are other you pickle. Me? Oh. Are you kidding me? I mean, words cannot. How do you describe Adam Rush? And how do you and describe you're telling, a pickle? You're, you're, you're telling me that that glowing bastard from last week has a friend. Has a special friend. A yeah, special. I can tell they're very special friends. Oh. Are you not a fan of Adam Rush's glow also? No. The the bow was clearly the glowing boa was clearly a gift from Rice Swag. Exactly. Would you include a pickle in K Moans Incorporated? Not at all. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Mm. Try Unless I was handing it out as Hors d'oeuvres at a party. Hors d'oeuvres. Alright, here we go here tonight. Adam Rush. Adam Absolutely Rush. disappointing that this guy even gets any bit of time. If you remember correctly, Adam Chris Rush, of course, was number one Did in you know? that rumble. Does anyone have news on where Zack Zero went? I mean, he just kind of disappeared. I thought he was up there Zach with Zero. You. Yeah, I thought he was up there with you. Or not Zach all. Yes, Zach he, Zero he went was out. He, he, he's conducting some business meetings. Like I told you, we're always wheeling and dealing here in K Mullins Incorporated. Jake, he's getting his Zach's confused. That's Zach Allo up in the bleep. That's Zach Allo. In the expensive Zach seats. Allo up I'm here. And he is completely conducting business by the book. Wait, so does situated. that mean that Leon Morrison was actually targeting the wrestler Zach Zero in his tweet? Did I don't know. maybe he get All I know. Zach's confused as well? All I know is there's too many Zachs here, so we're gonna have to start changing some names. 
They're all kind of spelled the same way, too. Z and yeah, K, exactly. Z, C, H, exactly. Thank you. Alright, Pickle Rick! How can Pickle, 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 Rick, Rick, Pickle Rick hate Rice Swag or Adam Rush when, look at what Pickle Rick's wearing, a glowing robe. I guess that's to taunt them, but still, look at that. Enough of all this glowing stuff. It's Pickle Rick. It's Pickle Rick. My money is not going toward this glow fund. I refuse. Is it a glow fund me? No, we, we aren't a glow fund me. This isn't UNICEF. We're not here to make the world glow and be happy. We're not here to feel the glow. Are we here for rainy days? This is not a rainy days fund. Who do we got in this one? The pickle? The rush. I cannot <laughs> see Adam Rush taking out this pickle. This pickle was... Mm -hmm. Very dominant inside that Royal Rumble, and Adam. I think Rush Adam Rush is, is very used funny. to having pickles very near, near and close to him. Is that Zexier come back into the booth, or is, who is that? All I know is I believe that that is your guy leaving. What is he doing? Is he going backstage? He, he going backstage? Yeah, that's your guy. He's going backstage. He's leaving. Yeah, where did he go? I'm sorry. He, I, had to get I don't know. He went backstage. I'm he went sorry. To okay. I found this weird, like, pickle juice backstage. Like I said, Adam Rush is used to having pickles in and around him. In and around? Are you saying Rice Wags pickle? I think we all know what I'm saying. Oh, Rush taking out Pickle Rick with that little spear. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back to catering. Speaking of spear, I got a meeting. there's steers and there's queers, and I don't see any oh, horns shoot, on Rush. It's, it's just us here. It's just it's a one-on-one -on -one commentary here. All of them making some business deals. Mullen, the other Mullins, I'm sorry. Are you gonna disown yeah, him from no, his last name? Enough, we're denouncing that guy. He, right. he has to change his last name because He's I JT. refuse to allow that man to be a part of the Mullins name. Well, it looks like just JT. Well, yeah, we will call him just JT. Looks like he has left me. It's just me down here at the announce table, and you're up See, there. See, this is what balcony. happens. This is the kind of show that we that that's being run here. Just full on chaos. But hey, if you look at it this way, down from four man announce team to a two man announce team or two separate one man announce teams. Pickle Rick throwing, exactly. smashing. I don't much down to the ground with that hair. Ooh. This is false count anywhere and they've stayed in the ring. Again, not even utilizing the rules. I don't think uh, I don't think Pickle Rick understands the rules too much, honestly. I think he just goes I don't think out there he understands and much. I think he just goes out there and has some fun, to be honest. Yeah, again. Is going for a but is it really fun when blade? you're not winning? See, look what happens when you try to have fun and pander to the crowd. Adam Rush going for a headlock. Showing off, really, there on that headlock, it seemed. Ooh, taunting a bit. Ooh, uppercut by Pickle Rick. Su oh, super shin kick. Knocked Rush right onto the ground. Rush able to get back up somehow. Got him in the fireman's carry position. Pickle Rick knocking, knocking the sense out of Rush. I don't even understand why we're giving this match any time. It's already gone way past my carry. They're either fighting outside of the ring right now. Hurricane Rana onto the still steps. Referee's outside, so anything can happen here. They can go for a pin. Ooh. That stiff heel kick, it seemed. Swinging the arm to the ground. Rush was just going in full steam ahead. Pickle Rick, though, some type of ring awareness from Pickle. Exactly. How Ooh. certain are we that he is a full-fledged Pickle? He's got to be at least We need 50%. more investigations to be done on the matter. I will conduct 
further investigations with will my you, legal team. Will you team. conduct them, or will James Gordon conduct, conduct them? James Gordon will, of course, conduct them uh -huh. as my head of security. Oh, head detective? Head detective in charge of all investigation accusations. Oh, I looked real painful there. Like a bone breaker. We need, obviously, something to come out and save us from this travesty of a match we're going through right now. Anybody in the back. We need to send somebody out there in this thing for both of them. Careful what you ask for. You never know what you'll get. End the suffering of the HOPW universe. I don't give a shit about any of these people, and I still feel bad that they spent their money to come watch these two roll around the ring in that, such a weird all fashion. All. What's that yes. Olo doing back here? He's I back was, because he was had, conducting had, business. Had, he, was, he was conducting had, business. I had I to take a distance call, and now I've got. I'm getting some. I'm getting a snack because you know I gotta get what I gotta get. Yeah, I mean, who, just are, who are you on the phone with? Domino's That's pizza. none of your business. What? That's absolutely none of your business. Well, I'm trying to get yeah, you a sponsorship. Back I'm trying to get you a sponsorship deal. Stop being a dick, or else you're not getting a deal. I'm sorry. I'm the reason you're still in business other than Chris funding this show. Have you tried this pickle juice soda? Excuse me? The pickle juice no, soda. No, I'm not funding that safe. too. Come on. It's really good. Tech. It's really good. Come on. I am not going to continue to fund stuff like pickle juice and glowing individuals. I'm a big fan of the pickle juice soda though. You will get all funding yanked or I will take full control of this company if things don't shape up. Three, Adam Rush with the win need shape over up Pickle ship out. Rick. I told you Adam Rush knew how to handle a pickle. Falls can air anywhere match, <laughs> and they finish it in the ring like professional wrestlers. Adam Rush, the professional pickle wrangler. <laughs> the professional pickle. Ball and elbow drop. And that is all that was written there tonight. Adam Rush. Adam Rush's lips look a little bruised there. He must have got a mouthful of pick. <laughs> well, strike one down for Adam Rush's team. Rice Wag's smiling back there. I know they're going to have a celebratory something when sure, they get part. back there. Coming up next. Alexander Wolf has requested some promo time here tonight to reflect on last week's loss. The real question is with Alexander Wolf, what is his mindset? He lost his main event match against Jay Carter, which wasn't bad. They lost to Jay Carter, but he lost it from a German suplex. And of course, being a German native himself, there has to be some type of insult to him. And an insult to injury, that's how it always works. It's how you gotta play your cards. Yeah, you gotta play your cards. Speaking of Hard cards, cards, speaking of cards, HOPW card game. That's a thing. Alexander Wolf. And Alexander will remind me a little bit of someone. I can't think of who exactly it is. Alexander Wolf. Do you guys ever see that movie, uh, A Sinister? Never heard of it. Never heard of it? Yes, of course. I've heard of it. It's one of the greatest films in the history of cinematic it reminds photography. Me of, it reminds me a little bit of, like, a main villain they had. Dude, that guy is very... He's... That guy was just doing the right thing. He was oh. being a friend to all. I mean, of course, Alexander You Wolf have a friend here. in that villain. Of course, Alexander Wolf is just angry at all the funny pictures of him that have came out, all the little German suplex memes and whatnot. I think they're called memes. Are they memes? I need to go you to professional memes, on this one. memes, memes, it's whatever memes. you want to call them. 
Wolf going completely against the fans right now. Just saying that he's going to make them feel his pain that he felt last week. Losing to Jay Carter. Everything being thrown down the drain. Uh-oh. Alexander Wolf calling out Jay Carter. Of course, Jay Carter is a main event match, though, tonight. What the world is he going to talk to Jay Carter about? About getting a real job. Okay, out comes Jay Carter. Let's see how he's going to respond to Alexander Wolf here tonight. Jay Carter doesn't look too impressed. Looking a little bit different here tonight. There's some, something more serious about him. Wolf doesn't look too impressed by Jay Carter. Yeah, because Wolf obviously doesn't realize that he is the lower tier species as it pertains to the greatness that is Jay Carter. This is a guy who you really need to keep wa the watch on. You need to keep the short list with him at the top of the short list on guys to watch here in HOPW. I can hear more guys of his dog fighting going on. What's that? Yes, it's more of Uncle Michael's dog fights going on. Uncle Michael's dog fights? What? Of course, like I told you, I had to film some stuff for the HOPW Network, and I had to pick the programming, and that was one of the things I picked. Jay Carter here saying that Alexander Wolf thinks they got unfinished business, but Wolf here, he wants he wants a one rematch. I don't think Carter's gonna give it to him though. So who's the real villain here? Is it Jay Carter for winning a match? Or is it Alexander Wolf for one? It's Alexander rematch? Wolf for existing. Jay Carter saying that Alexander Wolf is just bland, he's boring. He just wished he'd shut up. He needs to just take Look his at bags him. and go back home boring. to Jordan. He's absolutely bland. Wolf saying that he's not boring, though. That he's the most interesting thing going on here, though. Some may disagree, but he's making a, such a big statement here that he is the greatness of HOPW. The only thing great about this guy is how greatly disappointing he is. Jay Carter getting the feeling that Alexander Wolf just really wants that one last rematch, but Jay Carter doesn't think that. He deserves it all, and so he doesn't think that he's going to get it at all. Maybe because he doesn't deserve it. Everything about that. Again, Americans first, everyone else last. I don't know how Americans many times first, nobody else never. Exactly. People need to learn the pecking order. The pecking order is how we will continue to run HOPW going forward. The pecking order is what everything is about. It is what life, it is what everything within life is all about. Jay Carter not even waiting until the main event here saying, Alexander Wolf, if you want to fight, you want to swing, you want to throw shade, you want to throw fist, go right ahead. Alexander Wolf is... Daring him to, but Jay Carter is daring him right back at him. Looks like we had a standstill as these two men can't really decide who wants to be the bigger man. And throw the big fist right across the other one's face. Oh. Again, all this man up. deserves is a haircut and a beard trim. Because he looks like an absolute sideshow freak. Alexander Wolf. That's not the way. He's not with his time. Food. Alexander Wolf saying the HOPW isn't even worth his time either. Wolf just walks right out. Yeah, because Wolf's afraid. 
Wolf realizes what was going to happen there. He obviously realizes that if anything went further, it was going to end badly for him. And he would have been spending the night in a med- in the closest medical facility. Chris Mullins Hospital. Exactly, because I fund everything in this whole damn state. Here we are. Main event time. It's a big one. Finally! J. Carter's going to have to come back out. I hope he didn't go too far. The main event here tonight is J. Carter. And as requested, Chris Mullins Jr., his loving bae, Nyha Jax, and his manservant, the Velveteen Dream now, want to manage J. Carter for his match tonight against Zane Grimm. Of course, Zane Grimm isn't going to be alone. He's going to be weary. He's going to be having his tag team partner again, on with him tonight. Asian guys. Again, Miss Meltzer. Enough of this stuff. Enough of the masks. Enough of the foreigners. Time to clean up everything one by one by one. It's about time you put in some order. Oh. That's a big order there tonight. I don't know if he can handle it. The pecking order is going to change. The pecking order. Might be some deadly twist for certain. These individuals that are surrounding themselves with Chris Mullins Jr. They are the measuring stick of HOPW. Well, of course, Nia Jax is not like most girls. And it's crazy to see from one week's time, or I should say, six days' time, the Velveteen Dream becoming the manservant of Chris Mullins Jr. Well, Jr. it's because he He's learned his, his place in now life. He learned his place. Manservant. He didn't deserve that title, which is why it's no longer around his waist. And now he realizes that this is the way you get on in life. He finally made one smart decision in his life, and that was to accept his role as a subservient to my son, the great Chris Mullen Jr. Let's just see how much the Chris Mullins Jr. sponsorship is really going to aid Jay Carter here tonight. That referee just better know his role. He better shape up or he's going to ship out. No. Like I said, nobody's safe. You ruin business dealings, you will be gone. Be gone! As you can see, Nia Jax, the Velveteen Dream, and the prestigious world champion, Chris Mullen Jr., alongside Jay Carter. Yes, of course, you got my son's manservant, and then you got my son's love interest, the future Mrs. Chris Mullen Jr., Nia Jax. When do you think he's going to put a ring on it? It could be very much in the very near future. One of these episodes could be dedicated to a wedding greater than anything ever seen. It could be the biggest wedding in all of wrestling history at that point. It will be the greatest power wedding couple. in all of wrestling history. The most insanely iconic power couple. I want to know, what is this entity here? Jay Carter, the Iron Man, the survivor of the last men of the first Royal Rumble of HOPW for the World Championship, I should say. And last week, defeating Alexander Wolf, but now, still in the main event, still in the main event picture against Zane Grimm. Because it's a man who knows his spot. He, a man who knows his greatness. A man that we all see here at Kmo and Zinc as the next big deal in professional wrestling. But of course, the first, the current big deal being my son Chris Mullins Jr. Of course, Zinc. He is the next. He is the future of HOPW. 
and he's aligning himself and setting himself up for a career filled with absolute greatness. The Triangle of Terror has arrived. Exactly. A triangle, are you kidding me? A triangle has three spots. There's two guys. Come on, that's simple geometry. But of course, leave it to an Asian to screw up a map. What? Is that like the opposite of what's supposed to happen? Exactly. Well, strong, you talk about stereotypes here. for people. People are trying to make Asians feel better for themselves and saying, y'all, you're so good at math. They can't even do simple geometry to understand that there's three points to a triangle and there's two men out there calling themselves a triangle. That's what you call absolute ignorance. Makes me wonder how the three managers for Jay Carter are going to play in as a factor here tonight. Matsuda, though, he'll be the only one in Zane Grimm's corner as far as we're aware of. How will this pan out? Jay Carter, Zane Grimm. Let's get ready for the main event of HOPW Troubleshooter. Going straight at him, lift him and up. Jay Carter got hit badly with that one. Ooh, got a one count though. Yanking on the arm, taking the hand back behind. Jay Carter is tossing him off though. Going for a German. Oh shoot. Might not be the only one we see here tonight if Jay Carter can pull off that German he used to defeat Alexander Wolf from the previous week. So tell me a bit more about your industries that you finance, that you invest in. Mr. Well, Chris obviously, Sur surely one of these has to be like a Jade Buffet or a Jade Express or one of those, you know. Surely can't be just all funding, you know, Mustangs or Made in America and all that. Surely you have to have some foreign export or some Swiss bank account, right? Yes, there's obviously Swiss bank accounts involved and lots of feelings here. But that's just because they are people who truly know how to handle the money because they'll give you money just by doing that. Oh. And they'll keep your money safe from you, from anybody. So are you abusing the market? Are you pulling things, pulling the threads into your favor? I'm doing whatever I damn well please. I guess that's your hustle. Exactly. Oh. See, absolute ignorance by this referee not sitting here, not checking Zangrim over here. He's obviously been cheating this entire match. What? How so? He's obviously got some loaded gloves or something, because there's absolutely no way that he'd be having such an advantage right now over Jay Carter. Loaded gloves? He's obviously cheating. There's some, like, old Shogun gloves. They don't look suspicious at all. He's obviously cheating. He must have done something to this official or something. Oh, I know what it is. Look, that official looks pretty Asian to me. They shouldn't it's all bring conspiracy. Up the, they shouldn't bring it's up the all green conspiracy. Mist. It's all conspiracy. Oh, and I'm absolutely sick and tired of the conspiracy strikes. being perpetrated against me and my family and my organization. Pele kick by Jay Carter. That might be it right there. Zane Grimm yanking the jaw now. Rip his head off. Rip it off. Of course you have Chris Mullins Jr. back there with the Velveteen Dream, his manservant. They're cheering on Jay Carter. 
Maya, though, she's looking looking pretty disappointed right now. Yeah, wouldn't you be disappointed? She sees the absolute travesty of everything that's going on right now. How do you think that impacts a beautiful woman like her? Exactly. The stress is not good. The stress is not healthy for a beautiful woman. Oh, it will cause taking it outside wrinkles. Of... It will cause gray hair. Stress is not good. And this is the kind of stuff that we cannot be having within this company. Of yeah, that would there pain. we go. There we go. Of course, that would pain your son to see her that way. Exactly. My son is nothing but wonderful to that woman. Take him to the turnbuckle. Toss him on his back. Oh, oh, German by Jay Carter. That might be it. One, two, two, two count this time. Zinger hey, that was a slow count. That was a slow count. How in the world did he manage? That was a slow out. count. I demand a recount. I mean, if you recount it, it's just going to be a two, though. No, we recounted again and realized that it was a three. This match already needs thrown out. It's or it's already completely been too bastardized by this Asian conspiracy against my corporations. I think the only conspiracy going on here is that Jay Carter just got the life knocked out of him. Oh, Zane Grimm taunting the prestigious world champion and his manservant here. That might be the mistake he's making by taunting them. Zane Grimm, you might be making a statement to your son. Exactly. He's he's putting himself on that list of guys that will be brought down in trouble at the feet. Jay Carter again. Kmon's Incorporated. Again, you got to get down there quicker and count the quicker pinfall, ref. That wasn't can't even be a one count at that time. Bad officiating. Continue to ruin. Oh. I think I saw some blood there rolling down the face of Zane Grimm. Might be it for him. Two. Three. three. Jay Carter. Absolute greatness. Continues win. to succeed. What do you got to say about that one, though? Again, it's, some, it's, 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 it's what you knew was going to happen. Again, it was the distraction. You, you Matza didn't, Matza didn't you even distract Jay Carter. What's going to happen? You can you can't see Matsuda was, Matsuda was, you know, completely respectful. Unlike your son, unlike the Velveteen Dream, they were just distracting Zang Respectful Grimm there. or ignorant, he completely was more worried about pandering to the crowd. He was more worried about everything going on and not worried about what was going on within the ring, which is all that truly mattered at the end of the day. As we see a man, Jay Carter, he closes the show out, and this is absolute greatness. We will see you next week.